right, what's up, everyone? Now I'm back. Look at all those bits. Sans bits. All right, so first things first, um, I want to talk about a few things. Um, da -da, da -da, this, this is. Um, Ethan from DK. What is what is DK? Where's DK? <laughs> I, I only hear D, DK in the context of Donkey Kong. <laughs> Denmark <laughs> makes sense. Greetings. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, DK just immediately makes me think of Donkey Kong. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, so for my YouTube viewers, I want to uh, bring something up. Um, vodka in my glass? No, it is just water. Just water. Um, I did just take a nap, though. Because I had to get up early, and then I went back to sleep before the stream, so I'd be fresh. So maybe I'm a little, you know. <laughs> um, so the things that I wanted to ask about, um, I, I'm interested in trying out other games sometimes, and I was wondering if the stream would be at all interested in watching me play Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I really like that game. Uh, and I have, I have a file like 40 something weeks in um, and it could be it could be fun to watch something a little different than magic uh, just to give a little variety because sometimes I like I want to stream but I really just don't feel like playing magic <laughs> um, and I don't want to burn out on it so give me give me uh, some feedback on that dear viewers um, And the other, uh, as far as like, I'm interested in doing maybe some other kinds of content uh, with with Legacy um, as well. Um, I really like doing the the matchup testing uh, with guests. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see more of that sort of thing. I had one person say they really like they really liked it. Um, I really want to. You know, try to expand outside. Just like play league, play league, play league, play league. Though I'll I'll probably still do the I'll, that will probably still be the majority of what I do. Uh, and then lastly, um, I wanted kind of a yay or nay on music. Um, so the music has the problem of I won't be able to post a stream that I have music on on YouTube because it just gets taken down. Um, but I was thinking since I stream about two times a week uh, pretty consistently, I was thinking about doing like one stream will have music and one stream won't, so there will be a YouTube video once a week anyway. Um, so I'm thinking about giving that a shot. Because uh, I'd like there to be some noise other than uh, my laptop fans <laughs> and me clicking. Uh, and I know there's a lot of like dead air, and I kind of want to avoid that. So those are my suggestions for the channel. Um, I'll probably give the music thing a, a try next week. Um, so moving on to today, um, I'm really, I, oh, I, I did a bunch of number crunching recently. And I did it just, just like this. Um, and I, cause I use my big old spreadsheet and just tallied a lot. So what I was tallying is, um, my, the core, I wanted to find the correlation between being on the play and being on the draw. Cause I was like, man, why is my win rate getting worse? Is my, uh, are, the, are the lists I'm playing worse for the meta? You know, what's going on? Uh, am I just playing worse? That sort of thing. Uh, Cause my win rate has definitely gone down. Like when I first started this, when I was at like a hundred matches, I had a 65% win, uh, win rate. Um, it's gone down about 7%. Um, so 
when I obviously then that it could also be getting more hostile. That's the other that's the other possibility. So I kind of did it in two samples. Um, they kind of arbitrarily chose them. This is just where I started counting. I just started counting from um, match two hundred down, and then uh, from one to one ninety nine. Uh, and it was really striking how much better <laughs> my win rate is on the play, um, <clears throat> which you know, long story short, equated to an overall win rate of I think uh, it was. If I just took my win rates on the play, it's uh, 99 to 57. Um, and I believe that's like about 60% or 61%. And then my win rate on the draw was 95 over 89, so almost 50-50. So being on the play more or less correlates with a 11% increase in win percentage. And there are some other like interesting tidbits that I noticed. Um, um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So I think, uh, oh cool, we got a viewer. Oh, Cannon's from Oslo. That's sick. I guess I, it makes sense that I have a bunch of European viewers because I always stream in the afternoon for me, so it's evening for you guys. Um, So my win rate's gone down uh, from the past two, from the past 152 matchups. It was 55 percent. If I look at the first 199, it's 60 percent. That does discount 10 or 12 match, uh, 12 matches that I didn't know the play draw on when I started my spreadsheet. I didn't remember. And I couldn't find them, uh, and I was 10 and two in those. So I discounted those. Um, but obviously that would improve the win rate even more. Um, so it's probably closer to more like 62%. I just don't know. Uh, oh no, I think I concluded that. I don't remember. So it might just be that I'm on a terrible losing, uh, I'm, not, I'm not on a terrible losing streak. I went on tilt last time I played. Um, I'm on a pretty bad, I, it's like I go 5-0, 4-1, then I can't cash, I like cash one, literally get a four on a day. Um, and uh, where's my I've just I've just been on a really <laughs> a really bad win rate for being on the draw. I've won, I think, seven out of almost 30 die rolls. So maybe that's just it. I need to, need, I need to stop worrying about it because I've been getting kind of, I've been beating myself up over the, the downtick. <laughs> I'm trying to debate if you need to buy Badlands for goblins. I'm sorry, you really don't. I mean, like you saw, if you saw the, the league, I went, uh, I went four and one, and I played against five combo decks with mono red. So, uh, last thing, um, we, I've been talking to some other goblins pilots, and we've both noticed that ever since we've gone off Tarfire, we moved to Crater Maker, which is a far superior card. Mm. This does create the side effect where we have fewer keepable hands just because of the lack of one drops. Um, you know, most legacy decks have, unless they're a chalice deck, 12 one drops at the fewest. Like DNT has four mounds, four plows, four vials, and they have like the highest curve 
of other legacy deck uh, of all legacy decks that I can think of, um, or at least the lowest density of one drops. I can't think of a, a deck that has less one drops that isn't a chalice deck. I don't know if you guys can either. Um, so this makes keeping hands on the draw really dicey because you basically have to mulligan to a one drop. Um, and sometimes your one drop hand is really bad. Um, like there are very few hands that you can keep on the draw that have like, you know, this shit. You know, you, you need, like the only hands that you can really keep on the draw without a one drop are like the War Marshal Gem Palm hands. Um, so my idea to alleviate this a little bit is uh, main deck of Pyrokinesis. Because <laughs> what lowers your curve more than a free spell? And it is basically force of will for a bunch of creatures, right? So I'm going to give this a try over the third pile driver slash Grenzo. Uh, there's a lot of Delver online, and I'm sick of getting Delvered, uh, especially on the draw, right? So we're going to give that a shot. So we got... We got an extra sideboard slot now. Um, obviously, I could cut one of these cards and put it in the sideboard and run sixty. Um, but I don't. I want to keep all these main deck cards. Like I really like all of them. Yeah, cannons, cannons on board, right? So what do I want in my last sideboard slot? I am contemplating another thorn. I'm contemplating a third reb. Um, there's just a lot of true names. <laughs> just a lot of true names. Um. Play another needle effect. Um, I could play a Caracas and then have that for when Stronghold is bad. I could play a Parish. Um, Caracas was very good last time we played it. Um, Play a sharpshooter. Still not a fan of him in the sideboard. He's a main deck card, I think. Um, you could play. I'm leaning towards Thorn, Needle, or Caracas. That's what I'm looking at the most, I think. Oh, this is also. I'll be right back. I got a message someone. Sorry about that. Um, so, hmm, what do I want? Charger is so janky, it keeps unplugging and plugging back in. Uh, Caracas gets worse because we're not playing the Legends of our own. I could play Cranko in the sideboard. Um, I could just play a third Kinesis. Just under the logic that third spell, the free spells are great. Um, we got the five Grave Hate pieces. Play a warping whale. Eh. Um, it's kind of a crapshoot on what we run into. I'm quiet. <clears throat> Sorry, man. Is uh my mic's all the way up? Is it is it still very quiet? Please let me know if I'm too quiet. I don't I don't want that. Um, I can also just project more. Hmm. 
This sideboard looks so wacky. Look how many one ups we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight one up sideboard. Really? Uh, that's not good. It's quieter. It's usually way up here. Um, let's bring it closer to my face. My computer is a little farther away from me than it usually is. How's that? Is that any better? Um. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Gracchus because I like the idea of siding out Stronghold for combo matchups and then bring it in and bring in Gracchus. Um, I will miss Krenko, I think, because he has been really good. Um, hmm. Kind of light on elf stuff. I don't know. We got, let's see. Oops, no, I want the. So we got three, four, five, six. Six cards for elves. It's not great. Um, all right. We're just going to try to ignore combo a little bit more and just make sure I don't lose the matchups that I shouldn't lose, right? So we're going to play... I'm going to play three reds, actually. A lot of people playing back to basics, which is a very annoying card. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to dodge combo a little bit more than I usually do. All right, let's hop in the league here. Black red, it's good, right? Black red. Uh, we'll start with the practice match because I haven't played yet today. GP has the is the volume any better? Neat. It's about the same. Hmm. I don't have to tell you, I can't, I can't turn my mic up anymore. It's about as loud as it gets. Um, does that do anything relatively? If I turn off the desktop audio, which I wanted to be off anyway. I just don't know why it would be quieter than it normally is. Is this the mirror? Play Goblin Guide, please. Oh, it is the mirror. Hilarious. That's a lot of lackeys. Um... Oh, that's a good question. Uh, so was it? that. How's that? Let's go here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Alright. Alright, 
right, we're gonna we're gonna drop pile driver and play double lackey, and then next turn hopefully get like a matron trigger and go nuts. I think I had turned it down to get rid of all the uh, the white noise from my from my uh, fans. This seems to be going well. Let's see what my opponent has to say. <laughs> Opponent <laughs> seems to be in a bad spot. attack for 10 drop matron hopefully get two lucky triggers um, grab trash master probably So he doesn't die, yeah. Hey, Freak. You have virtual audio cable set up so they can run the next year program called Reaper, which is a noise filter to eliminate sounds in their room. Dude, hook me up with that. <laughs> is it like a paid for program or um, is it a free download? So we're gonna attack with our boys. All right, so three lackeys are getting in. So we're gonna drop matron for matron, then matron for trash master. I don't think I can lose from there. So I did that so I didn't so I can't get chain withered. What's that? JP? What's that link? Tutorial later. Oh nice. Yeah, this game's uh something. Triple lackeys is <laughs> triple lackey on the play is pretty good.
So War Chief off the top kills him. Chromox could be played. Yes, that 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 is a a viable option. Like the Winstigator. Any more aggressive lists do have a better shot of having keepable hands. It's true. But they're also like worse at mulliganing, which is weird. Alright, opponent's not dead, but I think this wasteland will kill them more than the damage does. Yep. Wish I could play. I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to play chalices. Chalice is like such a better main deck card than sideboard card. And the problem with obviously adding main deck chalices is we have a bunch of one drops we want to cast. Like, like we want to cast our like turn five either vials, honestly. <laughs> um, but also, uh, makes ringleader a lot worse, which is a pretty real cost. I get the feeling I'm being typed a message. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather be playing Red Prison, right? Um, oh, I was prophetic. <laughs> Plug the stream, guys. Uh, sideboard. That's it, I think. I don't hate. I mean, Cabal Therapy is kind of sick against um, Matron Ringleader, but maybe I just want the hits for. Yeah, I'm just gonna barely sideboard because I don't really have cards with mirror. Awkward that the, we don't have a red card for Pyrokinesis Fire that we actually want to pitch. So could be better, I guess. But vile, like this hand. This hand is great. I'm not just cutting off my head, right? Okay. from my phone would be pretty pretty good um i might let it hit me depends what i draw hey pg we're playing the goblin's mirror we're up a game cool file uh we just started this is a test test match just for my brain to warm up on magic 
depends what they drop. It's bad if they drop a matron or a ringleader. Oh, well, we found the card to pitch. No, there's no four toughness creature that can punish that. Uh, I guess Trash Master. No, because you can just do three and one, and then it'll like you'll die. Now, the scary thing about being on the draw in the Goblin's Mirror is like they get their vial to two first to Crater Maker yours, which is a pretty big deal. Pile Driver, deal. Basic land is nice. Uh, we'll just pass it back. He's playing Chieftain, so I think he's a bit more of an aggressive version. They. Sorry. Okay, no lackey. So I really just want to dodge Crater Maker this turn. That's what I'm worried about. Probably won't even have to Kinesis this turn. Okay. I will take one. Kapow. Powder was such great art. <laughs> Just such a great looking magic card. And great flavor text. Wasteland, wastelanded than anything else. So. so I get Trash Master here, so I can go War Chief Trash Master next turn. Ringleader seems better when I'm behind, or I'm going to be behind on cards with the two card pieces. Like I can handle most of the things he throws at me. So. I'll just ring leader into a crater maker or something. This battle's getting to three, so I could get punished here. I guess like matron and crater maker is pretty annoying. At least we have fourth land. Signs my wasteland, okay. It's probably okay, lackey. Big chieftain here. Nope. Okay, I'll take one. So I do have to be wary of a Chieftain possibly blowing out of Fire Kinesis, so probably just don't want to fire that off willy-nilly into a Vial on 3. <clears throat> Alright, so we're getting our Vial to 3, that's a big deal. One Marshal, okay. It's a card that gets pitched easily. Feel 
pretty safe with double pyrokinesis in my hand. Kind of hard for that to go wrong. I get the feeling I'm going to use the kinesis this turn. Because they're probably going to matron for something. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good against Pyrokinesis. I don't know why he didn't violate it in the block. It's kind of a weird play. He just could have eaten my ringleader there. So we've got two cards. Nothing known. Definitely not lands, because they've been missing land drops. Gonna do. I guess a ringleader. Hopefully, that's not trash master. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, those are pretty good. Double chain whirler, chieftain cranko. Okay. Gonna hmm. So it's taking for two, four, six, seven, ten, twelve. Um I think we're just gonna kinesis, kill this, kill this, block lackey. Guess I got a blocks first. A little punish for that ringleader attack. So we're going to leave our vial on three so that we can vial on a chain roller uh, and kind of ruin their expectations here of what's going to happen because they're going to want to go Cranko into Chieftain because then we can just kill the Chieftain and uh, Chain roller the tokens. Siege gang, okay. Alright, now we can definitely attack with War Chief. And pass it back. So this part this park is just gonna pitch this prospector. Somewhat unfortunately. <clears throat> if we squat him, we'll probably take matrons. Um, yeah. So if 
this all goes according to plan. It'll be Violin Chieftain, Violin Cranko. Pyrokinesis 2 on this, 2 on Cranko, Violin Chain Roller, Kapow. Eat all three of these creatures, uh, except for his second Chain Roller. A little cautious. We don't kill Krenko this way. Oops. Hmm. Because so I just let the chain roller stick around, or I can just block it. I'll just do uh, two and two. And then the chain ruler will kill everything. Yeah. I guess I can double I can double block. Chain roll around. Sucks against the gem palm incinerator, but I don't think they have it. They would use it on the, on the war chief. So we're going to start to compile up. We want the siege cannon to come down regardless of the port. Unfortunately, won't be able to cast squad if they port black. Yeah. Oh, that was a good draw. So I know they have a chain roller. That's fine. So we should be able to win next turn, as long as we somehow don't die. Well, they have a chain roller, so it's not guaranteed by any stretch. I guess we'll have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we will have just enough damage to kill them, just through attackers. So. Even if the tokens all die, which they will. Looking pretty good. Lackey. Matron. Okay. That's pretty good. Giftane. Thank you, Urban Weeder. Hopefully not Trash Master. That should be really good. Chieftain. That's a lot less scary. I don't know why they're sorcery speeding all their threats. Another Cranko. Oh, they're playing multiple Crankos, okay. Um, let's kill 
office, they have two tokens. We should, so we should just be able to win with double Siege King activation now. And the last card's Chain Roller. Might have just been able to let them attack. I don't know, my opponent was pretty cautious last time, so... doesn't really do anything more than uh hold on if i just vial this in and cast this are they dead uh i got four five six seven eight attackers uh so they block here 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 take two Right, so they block Chain Whirler. So they block for three, four, five, six, seven. They go to one. Um, so that's each can activate is still. Yeah, this should be lethal. If I kill one of these now, these two blockers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, all right, so we. Sure, I'm targeting you right here. So they block here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Girlfriend Gameplays, thank you for the follow. Normally I can't beat double Cranko with the Chieftain, but maybe double Pyrokinesis. Um, and a bunch of, I mean, our ringleader was pretty decent. Um, yeah, I think if my opponent had a Trash Master, and they matured last turn. If they just matured Trash Master, killed my Vile.
yeah, so if my opponent had gone Matron, Violin Trash Master, hold up Chain Wheeler, um, I would have drawn the land for the Siege Gang. So I would just ha hard cast the Siege Gang. Um, but and then. Oh, yeah, I have an Ancient Tomb list. Um, that's what I five owed with, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alright, it's going to look ugly, but... Format that and put it in like a Word document or something. That's just the most convenient way for me to give it to you. Sorry that formatting looks hideous, but there's not really anything to do about it. So it seems opponent's learning the deck. It is a rough time. That's a nice person. Yeah, I won the Goblin's Mirror once. <laughs> it's a miracle. Praise be. Alright, yeah. So I, I kept the night I got a little until um, I played like a bunch of leagues and I ran into Cyrus and uh, Caleb Scherer. Took a game off Caleb. I would have taken a game off. I would have won game one against uh, Cyrus, but I was on the draw. So my squad was a turn too slow, which was very sad. Um, I also made a stupid play with Cabal Therapy. Because <laughs> we, we had a conversation on Twitter that very same day. is like, well, if I have this in my hand... I should turn one therapy named this, and I have a, uh, so it was in the blind named LED, if I have a surgical named Infernal Tutor, and I had a surgical, and I named LED for, like, no real reason. Um, I don't play. Uh, and guess what he had? Infernal Tutor. Uh, this hand... This hand's fine. We've got two basics, we got two war marshals, we got our gem palm, powder. we can cast most of the cards in our hand. It's not great, but it's definitely functional. So just go Arid Mesa Pass. Let's see what's going on over there. Shadow. So we want to draw land, so we're not going to fetch. Ooh, Vile's really tempting. They can't beat Vile ever, so. So if they have a Spell Pierce, it's bad for me, but I'm also not playing to Daze this way. Nice. Brainstorm. Neat. I'm surprised they didn't brainstorm for a force there. Because Vile gives their whole deck fits. This is like an excellent draw against Shadow just because Black War Marshal is such a beast. Pentatrock would be annoying. 
one shadow, okay. Thoughtseize, take your pick. Sorry about the fan noise. How do I take either War Marshal or Gem Palm? I'll take War Marshal. Okay. Alright, drew a land, which is nice, so we can play around days. blocker. Got the stream sounding looking looks good to me. So the nice thing about just this combination of cards is you know they're hurting themselves to play their shadows and stuff and like this kills out of nowhere. Does not shuffle. Like, I'm not going to go for it because they very likely have something, but if they didn't have something and they just attacked, we'd attack back for uh, 7, 8. We'd actually have lethal if we just played War Chief, filed and filed over attack. That seems pretty good. Put another Shadow or a Thought Seize. Oh, Grimmick Angler. Okay. It's a little annoying. Definitely wish I had my second War Marshal still. Maybe this is reanimate my War Marshal. I've seen that before. Nah, it's fish. Okay. Could have gone to kill the, the shadow there, but that like super destroys me with a dismember. So I'm just gonna pass it back. Probably gonna take a hit here. They fortunately can't fatal push my war chief. Liliana, that's, that's annoying. One for one him isn't bad though. Taking my jump home sucks a little bit. Jump home's not doing a ton on this board. Take this hit. Attack. Um, I take eight. I think I just take eight. If they have dismember, I'm just gonna take eight. They don't have reach, so. I might just be trying to play another shadow, in which case any goblin kills them, more or less. Not any goblin, most goblins. That was the perfect draw. Get ringleader, I guess. Still plays around days. We have a force. So their last card is like force. Uh, 
dismember kind of sucks, but nope. Oh my god. Um, all right, well, this kills them past a, a force. I mean, a, a removal spell. All right, so the days that it makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not quite quite lethal, so I'm not gonna attack with everything because then I'll die to Pile Driver dying. So attack with Pile Driver, War Chief. Oh, okay, they're just dead. Cool. Um for this matchup we'll bring in a relic. Um a Sting Scourger. Squad comes out. Firekinesis could come out. Um, I don't hate Pithy Needle just because they can't reliably blow it up. Uh, and it takes out Liliana's, which are their best card. Um, I don't want to get Delvered, so I do have to be conscious of that. Um, So it makes me a little hesitant to take out the fanatic. Rev is arguable in this matchup. I've brought it in before, but it, I don't know. I found it middling most of the time. You're mostly just going to hit cantrips and uh, you know occasionally kill a delver, which is its best use, but. Then you're just playing not tutorable tar fire. <laughs> I mean, I've done that plenty of times, but you know, just rev to kill delvers. But uh, I don't love it. Uh, what can we cut here? It's not really a powder ever matchup. Just because you want to be blocking so much, but he does sneak in for a lot of damage sometimes. Uh, I actually think I do want power driver. Let's just. Shape Lackey on the draw. That's a good go-to. Still got a lower curve. Uh, vile, two lands, needle. Yeah. Hold a six, neat. So because they're a Thoughtseize Hem deck, I'm not gonna play around days. I'm just gonna jam this vile. I think that's a mistake in the thought sees Delver matchups. Since our hand isn't fantastic, you know, we want to accelerate quickly. That's pretty good. That further incentivizes this play. Sick. So the nice thing here is if they play Ratchet Bottom, we can pick a needle it. Probably getting hemmed. Skill to Turok. Ooh, they hit my. Oh, they hit two lands? Come on. Come on. All right, we drew a land that's lucky. Um, I'll play the Pile Driver. Hopefully, they're going to slam a Liliana here and then it doesn't do anything. I guess I three with Okay. Okay, dude. Play Gurmag Angler on turn three. Him, him you, hit two of your lands, wasteland you. Let's draw Knockle Marshall. That's for 20. Fanatic will play. Take five. 
Paladin. I actually don't want to attack. I'm just going to play Clown. Because they play a Shadow, I can blow it up with this Crater Maker. So. We'll go to 10. No attacks, no blocks is offered, but. I'd rather block with a different creature. I had a reason to not attack. Okay, another land isn't bad. Let's see what we hit with this ringleader. Another crater maker. Still doesn't really matter. Just makes my attacks worse. Um, I've had no dazes so far. This is coming in anyway. I'll just pass. I'll block with this ringleader here. Strix, interesting. Okay. I guess that's a form of reach. for Rent Leader again. And just pass it back. Sting Scourger for this Angler would be kind of sick. Pile Dragger, Crater Maker, Trash Master. Interesting. All right. I'll go Pile Dragger. Vials where they are. Okay. Um, let's play this crater maker. Violin trash master. to attack. I think so. If they block my ringleader, I can kill the angler. This is push. What is this? Dismember. Okay. Um, in a really bad spot. Uh, yep. And then we'll 
kill the angler. We still have a crater maker as a blocker. Brainstorm's a good draw. I'm at exactly nine. So if they find another dismember, I'm kind of in a bad position. Can't be fatal push. damage but it goes wide enough that all right we'll just play the needle now and pass it back so let's see how good their brainstorm was they found another shadow let's see what else they find Ponder. Okay, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so, like, freighter makers are gone, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, that's the revealed card section. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, three. Yeah, they're all gone. So. Matron, they don't shuffle, scary. Toxic Dailies would get me pretty good. Ooh. Ooh, that's brutal. Maybe I should name that instead of. Liliana, huh? Because Liliana doesn't actually matter. Okay. The Ratchet Bomb saved them. Yeah, I should have named Ratchet Bomb. Goblin. I'll take it. So we should just be able to pay Echo and win next turn. I'm assuming they have like a discard spell or something in their hand. No attacks, yeah. So we're gonna pay yeah, Echo here. So I could swing out with everything, they eat two creatures, they take four, but if they removal spell, then they only take one. And I die. Um, they've seen two removal spells so far. I'm fortunate that I'm at exactly nine. Because if I could take a hit from one of these shadows, then this attack would be pretty safe. But I think I have to pass it back. Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. We're waiting another turn. Another 
different. Jeez. All right, jump home does something as a the three two, so. Sting Scourger would lock this up. Ringleader would lock this up. There we go. Oh yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna grab Sting Scourger. Still two blockers. Two, three. Is there, is there any creatures I don't need to attack with? So assuming they kill Trash Master, they block you, they take one, two, three, four. Um, I guess I can hold back a token. All right. Kill this, block this, die, yeah. So I need two removal spells. Yeah. Ringleader's so good. <laughs> oh, Ringleader's so good. Alright, good start. <clears throat> Even though we got hemmed off of our second, third, and fourth second and third land drop and then got wasteland <laughs> vile carry serious like I wonder I guess if my opponent waited on the ratchet bomb they would have just died to my attack so they couldn't because I was thinking like maybe if they just ticked a vial to three or vial ticked a ratchet bomb to one <laughs> and pop my vials I might have actually been dead I guess Liliana would still be annoying because then uh, they just down tick and grab Angler back. His hand's pretty bad. And Mulgan this. Well, hand's more capable now. Kind of goes to five as well. Siege Gang, too early for Siege Gang. Flooded Strand, okay. Can't lead on Badlands. Don't think we're a combo deck. See if this is miracles. No. Preordain. Looks like sneak and show, which is rough. Hopefully they're looking for like like force of wills and fluster storms. We will say to them that is silly. There are no entombs over here. Hopefully it's Delver, but I get the feeling this this gives my sneak this is tingling my sneak and show senses. Brainstorm, another sculpting tarn. Yeah. So hopefully draw like a war chief here, maybe squad. Squad probably be my best draw. File is not really on that list. Yeah, we're trying to main deck Pyrokinesis just because it helps make my hands more keepable um, as a free spell. Because the, the format's it's definitely sped up. Um, I guess I'll play around Spell Fierce. Um, and so I want... 
greater, just lower cost hands. Yep. Just want to be show and tell in a sneak attack. Yeah. Rough, we, we didn't have any wastelands or anything here. Oh, there's card to make a bummer. I guess we can hypothetically kill a Grizzlebrand, but that seems unlikely. Um. Yeah, as a one of yeah. Let's see if they force this. They don't. Ooh. I should wait till attacks. <laughs> Whoops. I can just go, uh, I go to three. All right. I can just play another one. That was dumb. That uh, was dumb. Yeah. Oh, I like just didn't play around Lotus Petal at all. No, oh, they have double pedal. No, we weren't going to win anyway. Man, isn't that deck fun? Isn't Grizzlebrand such a well-designed card? Oh, no, I'm getting out of here. I've killed like three Grizzlebrands. Uh, slightly, and it like never really matters because it's this brain-dead card where you can answer it at the same turn it comes into play and it doesn't matter at all. Uh, two more cuts. Chandler survives Pyroclasm. That's why I tend not to cut it. Uh, I might need the space here, though. Mm. Probably go down to 22 lands in this matchup. Just cut all the ringleaders. Just cut all the ringleaders. Hmm. Sand isn't great. We got two vials. We got. I mean, two and vial. We want one vial. Vial into port is good, but we don't have any interaction. And we don't have a black source. Sorry, Morgan. Hmm. This is like the last hand, but it's, it's actually slightly better. Put second matron in the bottom. We need interaction. Hopefully they like force this and they play a Vulcan and then we can waste them and play another one. Hey honey. How's it going? Okay, so we're playing against Omni Sneak. Grizzle brand better designed than Show and Tell Sneak Show. Mm, no, they both suck. Are they, just, are they just gonna turn one me? That'd be pretty dumb. No. Okay. They're trying to cast intuition. Waste or port. Uh, the problem is, with, so if I get to, if I wasteland them, then I can play my second vial. Uh, if I port them, I have more lands, which actually doesn't matter.
Let's see what they do. So the problem is if I don't draw land, then uh, this port doesn't do anything. Well, I guess it doesn't do anything this turn anyway. So red land's my best draw. Specifically red black land. Hey. So we can beat a show and tell now. Um, I guess it's not worth porting um, because I want mana open to drop Matron for Crater Maker. I'll port them on their end step. So we'll port this. Not 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 a sponsor. <laughs> Alright, well, gotta go fast. I guess we can hold off I really want to draw land here actually. I need to bet on them not having I think it's more likely that they have the creature in hand than that they don't have the creature in hand so porting likely doesn't do anything whereas holding up the mana to matron I guess I need matron sting scripture sting scripture is much worse against Emrakul sneak attack than crater maker, crater maker just outright kills it alright we're not porting feels bad but Possible beat Sneak with Goblos? Yeah. I've done it a couple times. It's not, it's not the easiest thing ever. I have won my last four Sneak and Show matches. Um, what am I right now against it? Seven and eight. So, it's not the worst. Call Therapy would be a really nice draw. So, we've got to leave our vials where they are, I think. I don't really have any four drops anyway, so. Secure enough to uh, squad. Um, maybe I have to. They didn't play a land drop, so. Alright. I could, like, cycle jump on Cinerator, try to find a pithy needle, but. I think we just gotta hope that they don't have uh, another creature. Oh, they do. They have a second Emrakul. Great. Opponent yep. has it all. No cantrips needed. Wow. Skill game. I mean, we drew new, no uh, cyber cards. We didn't draw Cabal Therapy or a Thorn, so. Yeah, 
Didn't have the cantrip for anything. Just had three fatties in hand. Which means that a Cabal Therapy would have like utterly ruined them. Just Cabal, Cabal Therapy that sneak attack and they just like don't do anything. Oh well. We killed an Emrakul and a Grizzle Brand, so that's victory. On the draw again, deck closed. No lander. One lander. Alright, well, this isn't bad as fives go. Basic Island, Terramander. Okay. Hmm. Little five, lacking on the draw. Pretty bad start. Especially against this kind of aggressive tempo deck. What? Huh? I'm confused. Uh, I guess I won't play around days. Might as well force this. Force pitch period in. Um, I think I'm fine trading the lackey. Oh no, they just block with chase. Right. It's pointless to attack. I'm very confused as to what is happening. Okay. Um, I think we have to crack this immediately. Play Vile Prospector. I guess I play Prospector Vile. Let's attack. Let's see what happens. If I can get this file down. Opponent does not respect the jump home incinerator. So if they find another force, that sucks, but we should play around days and spell pierce this way. Either by result is a huge deal. Ponder. I guess that explains why they forced the Crater Maker. So this is quite standstill. I'm very confused. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I need to draw Jump Home Incinerator now. Who's the Crater Maker? 
So multiply forces to crack standstill. Period in, sure. So we, if we draw jump on, we can kill the thing that he goes to equip. Five more cards. Oh, great. I thought it was instance or sorceries like Terramander for some reason. Uh, this is bad. This is very bad. Okay, Greater Maker helps. Kind of live to take up these vials. Pitches back to basics. Uh -huh. Plow. Um. All right. So we sacrifice. Oh fuck. Um. One, two, three. All right. So we can't activate Terramander. Um. So we gotta sacrifice Lackey to kill the Terramander. And we can hold off GTA for a turn with Prospector Sack. Hopefully they just don't. Oh no, they're poor. That's not good. Doesn't attack? What? Are they scared of a lackey, maybe? I guess I could cycle this jump home now and hope to hit Crater Maker. Yeah, they're playing around the block sack. Another matron's not bad. Alright, Prospector has been exiled. Get their GTA up, which is annoying. What the hell is this? Oh, Jace, too. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Planeswalker rule. Why did they change you? Yeah, F6, save time, put on bottom. cards. I don't think they're a day's deck. Um, I guess I just Matron of Crater Maker. It's the last one. So, 
we've escaped the lock a little bit. We have one shatter left. Kind of sucks we had to use all the creator makers on the not shatters. Did not realize this would be a stone forge deck. Um, but we have major ringleader, and that's worth a lot. They're just plus and Jace. It's gonna be hard to attack though. The garden bottom, okay. Terramander, okay, so we have one, two, one, two, three, four, okay. Five, six, seven. Alright, so they can adapt it next turn. Um I just want to matron jump on. That does not play around. It does play around snap plow because there's no plow. Um, we've got to play a, take a higher risk play and go for ringleader. Because they adapt it, it's bad for me. But mock kinetic, nice. Want to so one, two, three, four. Yeah. Contemplating, do I want to prowl squad? Um, probably just play rather, rather play matron. No, I'd rather, I'd rather play squad, I think. Hopefully, you don't have like batter skull in hand. Wow. That's really obnoxious. All right, so I'm gonna kill this. Matron. It's gotta get another ringleader, I think. Uphill of uphill climbs. That's so annoying that they just had Batter Skull. I just can't trip into it. Jace Fate's healing me. Take four. Also, unfortunately, I don't have a cavern, so if I bring ringleader into Trash Master, they probably just have hardcast force. Which is quite bad. Cavern? Wasteland. Okay. Um, Alright, we're going to do this right now, because I might wasteland them in my draw step. Or cheap power driver. Ugh, pyrokinesis, why? That was a pretty bad ringleader. He had two pretty bad cards, so. Gonna be happy to be playing three revs in this matchup. Mm -hmm. So 
got to find my trash master. It's basically what's got to go, got to happen. I'm just gonna play back to basics. Oh, okay, that ends the game. It's not worse for Sophie. Nope. Okay, played Squire. You're not dead. Um. I'm not gonna double block. I think Siege Gang is one of my best outs. So, uh, I think we're gonna take up file to five. Because then we can just file in the. Still can't attack, unfortunately. We need a we need a jump on. We need some sort of card advantage. I've adjacent play for like a million years. Brainstorm, sure. Play the fetch, so if they fade slow million, I can shuffle. Yeah, I do have two bad cards on the bottom of my deck, but I also have a bunch of well, I guess I wouldn't mind pyrokinesis at this point. Kill the charm. It's gonna be very difficult to kill the batter skull just based on bounce replay. Uh oh, wasteland them. Nah, my mana matters more. So I draw siege gang. Kill these two. Probably have to start blocking soon. The problem is if I just violin squad to block, they trade and then they bounce and replay Batter Skull. Maybe that's worth it though. Yeah, that's probably worth it because it's going to happen eventually. Kind of sucks. If they just equip, I will wasteland them. Oh. That's bad. You got it. Puts on top. Alright, we're shuffling. Hey, Caverna. We're 1 1 right now. We lost Sneak and Show because they just had like perfects. And my aim is pretty bad. And we're probably about to lose this game against this wacky standstill deck because I'm old to 5. And it's grindy as fuck, so. We will see. We beat, uh, what did we beat, round 1? Shadow. Okay. Let's bring leader into Siege Gang. Doing that to play around Counterspell. Matron doing more Marshall. Okay, that's not the worst. Alright, so we gotta kill. We gotta stop Jace from ulting on us. Uh, does it have any removal spells in the yard? They have a verdict they can flash back, but yeah, I gotta bump down, bump down Jace from Ultimate. It's another verdict. Oh, okay, that's game. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scoop for time. I'm not gonna try to kill them with a one one. 
Okay. All these come in. Yeah, Fanny Naughty. Is there a Stoneforge Terramander deck? Might be better in Prospector. Yeah, but yeah, the Terminator looked really awful. But also, they're playing Standstill. <laughs> like, what? Standstill and Humility. So it's definitely a control deck. It's not, you know. I don't know what my role is in this matchup. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Cut Whirler, yeah. You can see that. It just pressures Planeswalkers really well, especially through a Stoneforge. Uh, maybe not. You can see this. Thorn isn't fantastic. Maybe Thorn's worse than a goblin. I don't like having 28 ringleader hits. I don't like having 29. I like yeah, why? Um, because I just want more good top decks. Because the game's gonna go long. The chances that I like punk them out with like a terminal lackey seem really low to me. I don't know if I sideboarded correctly, but uh Yeah, I'm on the play, but like, I just don't think it's super likely. Is sand any good? It's pretty bad against the Stoneforge part of the deck, which. Yeah, but what, what JP said. Um, so it's two reps, which is nice. I guess I keep it. Could get punished for this hand. It's pretty mediocre. Yeah, they kept a hand based on, on term lackey likelihood, I think. Ooh, that was a really good draw. Alright. Um I'm gonna fetch Badlands here. Because I have two cards that want to use it, and if they and I've rebbed for black for back to basics. Uh, I think I side out a, Mac a Lackey versus Miracles. Or like the one lander. Rip. Oh, I kept a two lander, so maybe rip me. I'm cycling this jump on. We really want a third land. We can get it, get it back with the stronghold, so. Yikes. All right, Lackey's fine. No, Vile's by far the best one drop in the deck. Yeah. Probably plotting the lackey, yeah. Which is fine. Unfortunate if they draw land and then play Stoneforge. Okay. Land? Neat. Uh, we're gonna squab them. Or 
Oops. Which bird is fine, okay. Yeah, they're just missing my drop server. That's fine. Okay. Keep the beats coming. Six. Not the land. Factory's actually pretty good here. Uh, that's annoying. Factory blocks all my shit. Um, okay. All right. Um, all right, they're dead. Cool. Okay. So... didn't inform me at all. <laughs> you can kind of see this this thorn doing something. If they're playing humility, like maybe humility costs five mana. It's kind of a lot. Those reps didn't do anything, but they also did nothing, so that's fine. I know they have back to basics, so I want all of them. Um I don't know if I want Fnatic. I think I want Lacking more than Fnatic. Because what does Fnatic do? Fnatic kills Terramander, but I got three revs for those. Um, it holds off GTA a turn. It's not great in this matchup. Pressure's Prince, Planeswalker is okay, but I think we're okay like this. So it's nice we got to game three and we both have about 15 minutes on the clock. Ooh, this hand's pretty bad. There's no log in this. Alright, get this. Trash Master. Definitely really want him eventually. It's gonna be like one of my best cards. This is such a slow, grindy matchup that I think I'm gonna keep Trash Master on top. Feels weird. Feels very weird, but we want him. We don't want to have to matron for him. We want to just like matron for ringleader every single time in this matchup, I think. And I'd like to not get, you know, forced out. So hopefully we get to resolve this vial and then they can't play standstill. Sundra go, you say. Man, I really want to wasteland them. Yeah. Wastelanding from behind. It's something I always want to do, but it never works. Well, it sometimes works, but ooh, that's good. It's probably playing Stone Forge here. Ow. Rude. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, I feel okay wastelining them now. They don't have many non-basics, so... Hmm. Let's see what they get with the Stoneforge to play here. Play Standstill? No, okay. Better Spill. It's a land. Uh, I really don't want to deal with Batter Skull right now, so I'm gonna needle the Stoneforge. Sucks that they had disenchant. Shuffle is okay. Crocus, okay. That's another Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, they have GTA. Fuck. That's really annoying. Plus, really good at naturally drawing their equipment. Let's draw Crater Maker. Guess I'll fetch.
really just need to cast this ringleader next turn to get somewhere. Crater Maker, then in pretty good shape. We just draw a Crater Maker and Wasteland them. We'll see if they have another land. That'll kind of inform our play. Still left in Terramander. Weird. Okay. That deals with that problem at least. Um Yeah, we just got a ringleader here. Oh fuck. That was terrible. Ugh, and we put Stronghold on the bottom. Well, he's not blocking, so. So next turn we go Trash Master. Depends on whether or not they force or they uh, find a land here. Oh, that ringleader was so bad. We go Trash Master, Lackey, kill the Stone Forge. Unfortunately, they're gonna get to Batter Skull eventually. Okay, we can handle that. We kind of need to wasteland them next turn, or else this uh, Batter Skull is gonna come down. But I guess that might not matter. Slow roll this trash master, honestly. Now the GT has four counters on it, doesn't really matter. I think I attack. Play Trash Master Wasteland them. If I had six lands, it'd be a lot easier. Just four Marshall Trash Master. Hmm. Yeah. I need to. I need to wasteland them this turn. Fortunately, at least to a counterspell. Because I can't hold up Reb and wasteland them. I may as well save myself some life and right, plow. That's fine. I'll take the two to four. Oh, no, we thought better of it, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> so they've still got Batter Skull in hand as they brainstormed it away.
I guess if they do it this way, they get in more damage. And they use their mana less efficiently, so that's fine with me. Block. Say that's fine. Use plus two plus two. And we kill it. <laughs> so we just have to handle this batter skull eventually, but they've been missing land drops, so we can kill the Terramander pretty easily. That's uh, really unfortunate. I'm only taking two a turn. So I think I wait here until I have something better to do because I'm, I'm not accomplishing anything by uh, Breaking the stance with like a mock war marshal. Okay, taking the long game here. Let me try and find the feeling. I can defend it with a reb. Getting ringleader probably. So got eight cards. All right. Kind of sucks, but gets our card advantage rolling. Okay, resolve. That's nice. Let's grab ringleader. Play Lackey here. Um, one, two, three. Only three spells for Terramander. Right. Ooh, that's a good line. I wanted to save the rev for uh, my thing, but one, two, three, four, five. Oh fuck, they have a land, they can hit me. Wait, no. One, two, three. Ooh, that's obnoxious. That helps a lot, actually. So we're gonna do the end step thing now. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they need another land to adapt. So I can blast Terramander on end step, and then they discard a bunch. for sure. So we got they got very little value out of that. Land. Cavern specifically. Okay, I'll take it. Matron Jones home's pretty good. Stronghold on the bottom is a little sad. I had to guess they're one of slam a chase here. So that's, wow, my ringleader deal. Or they 
just want to play another standstill, which I would counter. Come on. I have a batter skull in hand. Oh my god. I guess we can we can still jump on it. Three reds, nice. It's just gonna take a while. God, fuck humility. Oh, maybe I should have. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's a 5 5 under. God damn it. I should have wastelanded them. in the plows. It's so unfortunate that Stronghold is the bottom card of my deck. That is so annoying. this fucking terrible deck. Yeah, if we had a stronghold, we can get out of this, but... Seeing play now. That was the worst draw in my deck. Well, if they didn't have the chump home needles, then <clears throat> I could potentially kill it. Because I'm dead from here, right? I can't draw more than one creature a turn, so I'm never going to get to quintuple block the germ. I guess last time I played against this kind of deck, my opponent timed me out, so they deserve it.
If I had like an actual shatter, I could probably win this game actually. Port would have been nice. It feels really bad to lose to such a... Yeah. No, I think you're right. I should I should have done that. It sucks to lose it in such a bad deck. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Sweet hand. Terramander and Standstill. They had no, there was like no point in the game where they could adapt it for anything less than four. Basic Island, okay. So they're sneak and show and I'm dead, or they're miracles and they're dead. Okay, that, that tells me that they're probably miracles. Okay. Um, we're gonna drop a uh, leader here. seem to be in trouble. Forcing fish. What? What? Okay. <laughs> this is not miracles. I'm confused as fuck. Or pre combat for Siege Gang. I could just War Chief attack. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm doing the. Yeah, attack first. I kind of want to play Fanatic first in case they have a Snapcaster and they're trying to block my lackey. So I'm going to do that. play our second lackey now. A little punished, because uh, now our mana's being used inefficiently, but it's not too bad. I still have, like, no idea why this is in their main deck. Turn 
exchange control of Gilded Drake and up to one target creature opponent controls. If you don't or can't make the exchange, sacrifice Gilded Drake. Uh, I guess I can I could fanatic my own lackey and then this dies, but I'd rather have this, right? This is good for me, right? Like I get a three three, they have a one one. Okay. That's that's a good draw. Um, I wonder if they have any goblins to put into play. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna wasteland them. Oh, double blue. We'll play War Chief. Cut black. I think double blue is more relevant. You, what was your reasoning for cutting black there? I feel like double blue is probably more relevant. Cool. Now they're just dead to pile driver. Oh, deluge. Okay. I can see that argument. Oh my god, port. Um, all right, we're gonna take it a little slower. Not good for the kill here in case they have another plow. I'm just gonna grab thing here. How the hell do we leave that? I'll hold back my war chief. We could have gone for lethal there, but. So they have two cards. They play two gilded drakes. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's like Snapcaster. Nope. I'm very puzzled, chat. I'm very puzzled. Brainstorm, okay. Sucks that we're one and two. Oh, I thought I was gonna win that standstill match. Okay. Now they both have tricks. Can't be him. They die. They cast him. Okay. Yep. Both have tricks. Two mana work. Two, two mana ringleader is pretty good. Let me trash master. Kapow. Okay, what on earth is happening? Am I just bored revs and nothing else? Seems fine, right? Fanatic's probably bad. Chain Whirler's probably not great. Three's a lot. I mean, they, they've literally only played blue spells, right? Blue spells and plow. Maybe two. I can see that, I guess. Like this. Oh! Mediocre Man 5 and Rune. Thank you for. Thank you for the follows. Sorry, I missed you, mediocre man. Uh, I guess we can just do this, right? It's hard for 
this to go wrong. Yeah. Keep a room. I guess I don't want them to be able to drake my siege bank commander. I don't know. I'm very confused. I don't, I don't know if their deck is just non-functional last game or what. Okay, Thunder. Shuffles. We're gonna jam this vial here. Cool. So then we can port them off white, most likely. Strix would be slightly annoying, but this containment priest is the most annoying card here. Oh, not anymore. That's actually so good. So they go to Violent Contending Priest. No, oh, why didn't I port? Whoops. Whoops. Oh, that could be really bad. God damn it. TV Boomer. Uh, yeah, main deck Pyrokinesis Nod. It's, it's mostly to Delver. I feel really stupid for not porting. I think I'm gonna play like a true name here. What? Uh, okay. Exile the target before you control over to about. Okay, so that explains the Gilded Drakes, I guess. They're dead next turn. <laughs> yeah, clunkiest combo ever. Maybe. Um, yeah, we're just gonna pass and port. Actually, remember to port this time. Decision, sir. Oh, man. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. Um, oh, I should have filed it in there. Um, we'll leave it like that. So we can buy a creative maker if we want. Red source is nice. Um, yeah, I'm just going to swing at your face. Dead? Uh, so this is 13, right, this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay, let's do this. Prospector. Okay. Solidly file that under miscellaneous. Uh, Gilded Drake combo, I guess. I did not really do anything that affected goblins. Alright. The classic 3 2 dream. We'll see. We'll see if we get there. 34 viewers, thank you all for watching.
Nice to have you all here. with a solid hand. Subaru sounds familiar. It scares me. Get a six. Card on top. Okay. Um delete on this. We bluff being DT a little bit. And uh, if that got forced and we got wastelanded, we could at least still cast spells. What's the snack? We got these. They're chocolate biscuits. They're really good. Please don't be storm. No, don't, don't dark ritual. Okay, thought these was acceptable. <laughs> Snack discussions are very important. Agreed. Yeah, so I like the, these biscuits that have like a chocolate layer on top. I do appreciate having all the old border stuff now. I think I have, I don't have a new border pile. I have new border pile, pile drivers, but that's it. Interesting, I took War Chief. I don't know what that says. That kind of tells me combo. Ooh, that was a really good draw. Oh, you, you know those biscuits. <laughs> um, they're French, yeah. Petite Eclair. I don't know how to say, I don't know how to pronounce. Yep, yep. That's what it says in the box. They're so good. They're brainstorming here. They're either landlocked or we're dead. <laughs> but if this uh, matron happens and we draw a third land, we can squad. So we might be able to get there even if they are storm. So we need to draw a prospector or a land in order to not die. In order to win on turn three if they are storm. My storm senses are tingling so. Is the first one on the leaderboards Mm. Maybe not. Oh, they are landlocked. Team J, bro. Hello, Congressman? I forget. Two and two in the league, fighting for our lives. Round five, game one. I don't know you watch my stuff. I see you in Caleb's. Oh, we did it. Here's the thing though, wastelanding them would be just insanely good if they're a fair deck, but I mean if they're a fair deck, they're gonna crumble pretty quickly to this amount of pressure anyway, but we'll just hedge and think that they're storm. Thoughtsy's brainstorm off Delta. No land. Okay, they scooped. Ooh. Hmm. I think it's Storm. I guess I'm gonna sideboard as if it's Storm. Don't 
only bring in two reps for Storm. We're not gonna hedge. I'm like pretty sure it is. Could end up being Grixis, and then we're very sad. <laughs> I mean, these cards aren't bad against Grixis. This is, this is, and we're setting out all of our Ringleaders and all of our Jump Bombs and our Stronghold. <laughs> uh, but, hey. There's a game three for a reason. Phoenix. Thought Scour kind of says it's Phoenix. Oh no, we just ran out of our jump bombs. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh man. Everything about my sideboarding looks real bad. I guess we can take the lightning bolt. Oh, we had two bolts? <laughs> That's sick. Oh, man. Take a C, extract his fetches. Oh, wastelands, wasteland C, extract them. I kind of dig that. <laughs> so you just can't cast black spells. God, we hit two bolts in like a ball therapy. That was awesome. Is this another prime answer? Ooh, boy. All right. Wasteland there really sucks for us because uh, we want to chain while there. Okay, we found a card to cast, I guess. Um, Shifty Mango. Thank you for the follow. Um. So if I wasteland him, extract underground sea. Next turn I play pile driver. All right, we're not gonna win like a normal game because of our situation. So we are gonna do that. Just try to gimp his deck, their deck. <laughs> Let's also see what's going on. Retrial step. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh my god, 80 bits. Salt the land. Alright, what is going on here? It is just normal ass. They, they boarded in surgical extraction as well. What? Oh, man. Well, they can't cast Gurma Gangler anymore, so that's pretty good. 
uh, true names. Um, TB Boomer, thank you for the follow. Two braids, one cabal therapy, two bolts. Okay. Okay. They have two land in hand. All right. Yeah, we can chump the pyros as long as they just never draw spells. Hitting double bolt was honestly the sickest. If they draw a cantrip here, we're in yikes mode. We really, as, if we can just like draw red sources into red sources, we can. No, that's bad. Stellar flips are like pretty bad. That's pretty good. Nope, nope, no, oh, fuck. Wanted to play. Mm. Wanted to play the, the pile driver there. That was bad. I, I could have taken him off time. <laughs> Don't believe that would be relevant. That is surgical. Hilarious. He had surgical my cabal therapies. <laughs> yeah, I meant to play pile driver there. Take this, I think. So I can get that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to rip a land and uh, create a maker of this and block with the pile driver. That's how I win. Live. Third part answer. Fuck. Oh man. All right. Well, I guess we can do that line. That's the same. Uh, we get a game three. They got stuck on one land, game one, just conceded. So we, we just saw Thoughtseize, Underground Sea, Polluted Delta, and them being stuck on lands. That's all we saw. So I assumed they were Storm. So we can technically live this turn. Surgical extraction is good against magic cards. We did take the possibility of your mech angler away. But I drew a lot of threats. Block here, block here. We can just die next turn. I guess if we draw Mogwar Marshal, we're alive. That's like my one life draw. Uh, we're in it. <laughs> we're in it. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, can't peek at cantrip. <laughs> so we draw. I... Now we're just dead. Uh, no, if we draw a cavern, they don't cast any more spells. We draw a cavern. We may turn up Chain Whirler. They shuffled. <laughs> so we have to draw a land, cavern out Matron, get Chain Whirler, Chain Whirler's board, win. <laughs> and we'll draw Lightning Bolt, or we'll, we'll draw Black Source. Oh, they don't attack. Interesting. Land. Land. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And he can't cast Thoughtseize. Alright, 
just need to dodge wasteland. <laughs> Thunder, don't find lightning bolt. Don't find lightning bolt. A wait list. <laughs> just draw Gurmag Angler that you can't cast. Fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> I guess we're still alive because they can't attack. Baited. Oh no, I have to take one here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take one. Second cavern. Off the top. Come on. We believe. Oh, so close. Damn you, wasteland. So any spell kills me. Yeah. All right, almost got there. Ah. Yeah, I can't fetch, that's true. That would've been reason to double black. All right, now that we know what the hell's going on here. Take out all this garbage. <laughs> oh, man. Well, if they didn't draw Wasteland, we'd probably win that game. <laughs> they found two. It's pretty brutal. Um, <laughs> God, <laughs> the game is so dumb. Oh, Crypt's in there? Oh, good call. Thank you. I was wondering. Uh... If I bring Cabal Therapy, I don't hate Relic. Power Driver. I saw three true nooms though. Kinda need to race. I don't want to go below two pile drivers. What have we seen their sideboard? Marsh casualties. I think we can go to two war marshals. Oof, I saw two of raids too. Hmm. If they don't force, this hand is great. Just risk it for the biscuit. Come on, let's go. Yeah, this is risky, but if we gotta we gotta take risks. Huh. Fuck! God damn it! They didn't have forces last game. Oh, they don't have. Do they not have a land either? Come on, just draw a mountain. Draw a mountain, Eli. Come on, you can do it. Draw a mountain. Draw a mountain. Fuck. Save the pitch of brainstorm. Give me a land. Come on. Yes. All right. We're live. Bolt my lackey. The ceremonial bolt. It's fine. Don't 
give me F yet. Uh, yeah, we need to find a lot of lands. Or more vials. I'm gonna hold this fanatic. Perfect time to draw a siege game commander, right? I think I just have all control cards. No action. Fort? No? Alright, well. Probably gets berated. I'm dazed. Really? Really want to waste them off red. There's port. Uh, port. Port's like my best draw, I think. Took a matron. Interesting. Port. Oh, he's roll. We don't get a braided here. <sighs> Turn six, two lands. It's pretty rough. Just gonna play a true name. No? Okay. They're digging for a braid. There is still hope, just because they haven't done anything. Yeah, I took two crater makers. Definitely not what I wanted. The Synatic's probably holding off a Pyromancer. Sound really quiet, really? Uh, Lava Trance, thank you for the follow. Um, ooh, that's good. Okay. I turned up my mic. Planeswalker in every pack, I hate the sound of. Okay. All right, so we're pouring them off black. No Gurmag Anglers. Pyromancer. Pass priority. I don't think they wanted to do that. Okay. Planeswalkers from Ristake to begin with. Agreed. Um, the keyboard is louder. Sorry. <laughs> What? 
sweeper still not doing anything? Mm -hmm. I'm so confused. You must have like a sweeper, like like trickery or something. Um, what am I getting? Um, I want to take up this vial. So I just get another ringleader. JP, that would be a dream. Oh my god, we got 45 people here. Guys, we're fighting for our league life. Um, maybe I just grab Jump Palm. I'm gonna grab Jump Palm. And I'm gonna take a vial. Rocky's not a bad draw. Um, I want something reactive in this very proactive hand. Ooh, okay. Maybe there could be anything could even be oh, that's true. We do diversify against Cabal Therapy a little bit, because they do have one in their yard. We can flashback. Keep that in mind. Um Porting can't be doing anything, right? So just play lackey. Or do I want to hold up the jump on mana? Yeah. Um, they could have like a kicked marsh casualties. Eh, they might just play Blackie. We got two of them. They must have just all reactive cards. They're flooding out like crazy. Yeah, if, yeah who cares if they clear, right? Marsh casualties. Yep. Called it. That is fine. I think it's Siege Gang time. No more lackeys. Is lackey expensive? I guess I do have to be a little wary of electricery, but 15 bucks, okay. Goblin Thalia, yeah, bold deal. Get one card. Yeah, how close are you to finishing the deck? seem pretty dead. Even if they have a braid now, attack for five, six, seven. Oh yeah, if you have DNT, yeah. It's like probably 50 bucks to acquire goblins after DNT. Yeah, I hope that goblins get uh, some modern, like I hope they print this, this, and this into modern. That would be my dream. I'm guessing they have a thought seize that they don't want to cast because they would die. Metal Sentinel for goblins. Oh, let's get Wirewood Symbiote, but for goblins. All right, they scooped. We draw third land, so we'd actually get to function. All right, we'd, we'd actually do pretty well from there. All right, went 3 2, beat Grixis Delver, even though I sided for Storm. We got 43 people here. Thank you all for watching so much. Um, thank you for all the new followers. Um, had a good time today. We played against some wacky decks. <laughs> uh, sucks to lose the standstill match, but humility is quite a card. Yeah, that was a that was a bizarre game. We missed we missed our second land drop after getting wastelanded. We somehow won. Uh, yeah, so uh, at the beginning of the stream, I talked about a couple things I want to do for the channel. Um, I'm thinking about streaming some uh, Scary Terry. 
No, Scary Terry. I mean, it's, I think it's a good card, but I think it's atrocious in that deck that that was playing the standstill deck. It looks so bad. Um, he didn't adapt it all game. Uh, I should remember that my opponent's name, Spiro, is a Delta player. Uh, see you, Caverna. Um, so we're gonna. So I'm thinking about streaming Darkest Dungeon at some time. Uh, you know, maybe do some non-magic content. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I like Darkest Dungeon a lot. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, as for other kinds of content, like more, I'd like to do more like matchup testing. Get more uh, guests to try out different archetypes against goblins. Let's open our let's open our chest. Ooh. Thought that was a noble hierarchy, I got excited, but cost sweet. Is that worth anything? I doubt it. But... So it's 25 cents. Nailed it. Um, Darkest Dungeon. And also, also I wanted to um, ask about how you guys feel about music on this stream. Um, since I have a lot of people who watch on YouTube, I don't want to, you know, stop supporting that channel. Um, but if I play music, then uh, I can't put up my VODs. Because YouTube just immediately flags it and takes it down. So I was thinking about doing, since I stream usually twice a week, uh, one one stream of music and then one stream without, uh, just to get a little bit more entertainment. Mm, okay. I saw someone on, I think it was, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, did a, like a little poll on Twitter and it seemed the majority of mu uh, viewers wanted music. Um, I definitely keep it quiet because I need to concentrate. Uh, So I might, I might, I'll try it out. I think. You think you're in the minority? I don't want to disgruntle my subs, you know. <laughs> um, any thoughts about the list? The three revs were pretty decent. Uh, it was really awkward that we played against a uh, that standstill deck was like so hard to sideboard against because it was just so haggard and wacky. Um, I played it a little bit wrong. I think I might have been able to get more on board. It's not gonna bother you. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Um, still like the list. Don't know if I want, like I, the main deck power kinesis, did it ever come up? Did we ever draw the kinesis main deck? Oh, we killed a, we killed a grizzle brand with it. But it didn't matter because they had sneak attack plus double idiots. Um. Uh, oh, all right. I had it for the mirror. Uh, yeah. All right. I gotta make some dinner. Thank you all for watching. Uh, let me see who's streaming so we can send you over to another legacy streamer. Um. Looks like no one's streaming magic right now. Kind of weird to see myself there. Uh, anyone streaming Legacy? Oh, we got the CFB Game Center. Good night, you guys. Yeah, Mandic Pyro is great in paper. Thanks for joining. Uh, JP, I haven't seen you in a while. You should stream sometime. Are you busy? Man, like no one's streaming Legacy, huh? I can. All right, we're gonna stream. We're gonna we're gonna host the uh, CFB people. Paper legacy is cool. No, I don't want to go to dashboard. Oh yes, I do. You replaced your hard drive and oh, I understand that. JP, totally gotcha. Hope to see you around soon. We should we should do a, a goblin's head to head. <laughs> 
That'd be cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna send you guys over to the CFB Game Center. Have a good time. Yeah, uh, JP, message me on Discord whenever you want to do that. All right, see you.